Hey folks, this is Jake and Bandit for Canadian Cutting Edge. We're going to do a review in this video, but before we get into the review, I want to tell you who the winner is for my third year anniversary giveaway. I did a little hidden giveaway at the uh, end of my origin story video that I did over on the weekend. But unfortunately, I somehow didn't click something right. I had meant for it to go live on Sunday morning and I only got it to go live, uh, or did I want it to go live on Saturday? Anyways, it went live a day late. I was going to, you know, pick the winner randomly using my TubeBuddy Random Chooser on Monday morning. Today's Monday afternoon, but I'm going to do it tomorrow morning. So I will insert, you know, the, the announcement of who's the winner in just a few seconds. And then after that, you're going to see, let me get around here from Bandit. Uh, the review of this Schrade neck knife. So this little Schrade neck knife is coming at you right after the announcement, so stick around. Right, buddy? Right? <laughs> Keep watching. Now this is the announcement of the winners for my third year anniversary celebrations. I used uh, TubeBuddy's tool. Uh, TubeBuddy is a good tool for any YouTube creators. They've got free versions and they got subscription versions of the tools, but the tool to pick a winner, that means it picks a comment from the video at random, is uh, you know a really good tool. I had to go through, I think about seven uh, comments because four of the comments didn't have the prescribed happy birthday or happy anniversary type of thing in there at all. So unfortunately, you know, some people didn't watch the video all the way through and so they didn't have a chance to uh, fill it in properly and win a knife. Now the first place winner, and uh, by the way, all, th all three of these knives are with D2 steel. Now if you live at a place where, you know, you get rust easily on stuff, or you just want a different knife than this, you just don't prefer the looks on this, I never want to give something to somebody that they don't really prefer. I'm going to give you the choice of some other knife. We'll negotiate that between the two of us via email. So the winners, you must email me by the end of March. Uh, if you don't email me by the end of March, I'm going to pick replacement winners. Okay. So the first place winner is Grayside. Now, got no idea what your real name is, but Grayside, I'm going to have to be careful to verify that the correct person emails me, but uh, we'll try really hard to be able to prove that the right guy's emailing me. Uh, Grayside, email me if you want this knife. Now, I second, I just did, I just did the review for this one yesterday, and I don't like it as much as I thought I did when I was choosing it for the first place knife. So if you're not too terribly fond of this, hey, we'll find something else for you. Trust me, we'll get you something good. Don't just accept it because, you know, that's the one that you won. I love giving away stuff to people, especially when it's something they really want to get. So if you don't really want this, we'll find something else for you. The second place winner is Michael Christensen. Michael Christensen, this is the cut jack. Um, no, not the cut jack, the steel wheel. Steel wheel makes the cut jack. This is the steel wheel intrigue the big version, three and three quarter inch blade, F45-11. So this is your choice, but if you'd rather not have D2 steel, you want some stainless steel or something, we'll find another knife for you. And the third place winner is Patrick Richard. Patrick, I've got this Ganzo for you. Again, D2 steel. So if you like this knife, great. If you'd rather have something else, we'll find something else for you. So thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. Thank you to everybody who likes, shares, comments, subscribes to my channel, uses my links when they want to buy stuff, all the other good stuff you guys do for me. I am amazed that three years have come and gone, and this channel is it's doing well. It fits a role for me. It helps me to have some self-expression. It helps me to do something productive in you know the world community and in my local community. So thank you so much for everyone who hangs around and watches my videos and you know does all this wonderful stuff and interacting with me. For anyone, you can always email me if you've got a question, CanadianCuttingEdge at gmail.com, and I will respond to it as long as it's you know, a good, honest question. 
I've been starting to get some junk mail from people and things, you know, I'm going to ignore those, but anybody who wants to discuss knives, you know, I really love to do that kind of stuff. So go ahead and ask me any kinds of questions you want. So now let's get on to the review of that neck knife coming at you right now. So here's a closer look at the SCHF5SM. Now Schrade does have some other neck knives, but I wanted to show a very budget version because last week I showed you a much more expensive knife by <laughs> Real Steel Knives. And so I wanted to show you a very low cost option. And this time it's from Schrade. Schrade does have better options than this. I'll cut to the chase right now. I'm not recommending this knife unless you really, really want something this size, very small, very much like this. This is a knife with just all steel. It's got a coating on it. And this section right here can act as a bottle opener if you want it to. Uh, ABS plastic sheath, very light chain. That's about a 25 pound test chain for it to snap. You get, this isn't paracord, it's just a little bit of cordage that you get with it. And one good thing about this cordage loop is it fits over your wrist very easily. So if you're using this knife and you're doing some delicate work or something, you can drop it do whatever you need to do and then just pick it back up again and you know put it back in your hand the way you want to use it unless you want you know I can get my whole hand on it there like that you know or any kind of hold that I want to do so that's kind of cool now the retention system on this sheath here is okay it's you know loose in there but it's not going to fall out easily it actually does retain on this bump right here you know, quite well. And it's quite thin. Uh, you know, that's about a quarter of an inch right there. So it's printing at most just over a quarter of an inch under your shirt if you want to wear it that way. So if you want something really small, something that's not going to show off very much, and I should use something else because this dark gray with black isn't showing off very good. But if you want something that, uh, you know, it's very, very tiny and stuff, this might be a good choice, but we'll see. Keep watching. Okay, that's a little bit better. You can see a little bit better what's going on. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, good sheath. It's uh, screwed together. Yeah, it looks like those are T6, maybe T5 screws in there. So, yes, you could take this apart if you wanted to. No big deal that way at all. So I've already talked about this. What kind of steel is this? This is 7CR17, which is Chinese version, very close to 440A. I don't really like 440A. It's a little bit on the soft side. Uh, we're looking at a Rockwell hardness of around 56, 57 if you're lucky, uh, which isn't terrible for a tiny knife like this, but you know, I do like harder steels a little bit better. 8CR13, you know, that runs at about a 58 Rockwell hardness. I really like that steel. Schrade has got some other neck knives uh, with 8CR13. I'm not sure, but I know they've got some neck knives with 9CR18, which is also fairly decent. Uh, I, I consider it a tiny step up from 8CR13. So maybe you want one of those. And I'll list some down below. I'll list this knife uh, at a few places where it's available uh, on Amazon. And um, I couldn't find it in Canada or the United Kingdom, but I've got other countries down there. And there's a couple other Schrade neck knives that I'll list down there as well. Here's the pictures of the ones that I'll list down below. You can have any of those. How is this knife? Well, there is one good feature about this knife that I like. You can tell the little hole right here and the hole that this loop is on. That is so that you can do paracord wrap. Now, I'm no good at paracord wrapping. I don't know why. A paracord, like the lanyards and stuff, I've tried, and I'm just no good at those things. It's a skill that I do not have. But that would work on here as long as you stay behind this edge for this part to catch on. And let me turn this back in here. As you can see, you know, it has to go back there. So you might have to cut a little bit of a recess in the sheath right here, this plastic, if you're going to use that hole, because it needs to tuck inside there. 
And as long as you leave this exposed, because that's where it grabs, right where that sharpness choil should be. It's not much of a choil, but right at that point is where it grabs on. So that's that stuff. Uh, let's go over all of the uh, dimensions and stuff on this little tiny thing. We'll zoom in just a little bit. The cutting edge is 5.4 centimeters, 2.12 inches. The thickness of the blade part, blade thickness is 2.31 millimeters, that's 0 0.091. So 3.30 seconds is the thickest part of the blade section. The uh, blade depth, this way, 1.95 centimeters, 0.77 inches. The thickness of the edge right behind the grind is thick, 0.8 millimeters, which is 0 0.0315. I like little knives like this or small folding knives. Most knives, you know, up to about four or five inches. I prefer them to be like half a millimeter thick. And this is 0.8. So that's quite a lot thicker than I'd like. The grind angle, this side right here, it changes dramatically. Up here at the tip, it's about 15 degrees. Down here, it's about 17.2 degrees. That's about in, this time it's about half an inch from the choil where I measured. On this side, oh, 33.5 degrees. Like, I mean, it's a very steep, nasty angle here. Uh, the sharpness from the factory is about 220, so not super sharp from the factory either. You will be, have to take off a fair bit of steel to get it down to, you know, 20 degrees per side and get a nice sharp edge. But when you do, remember this is 7CR17, which is 440A-ish. It's not going to hold an edge very long. But this is not a long-term use knife anyways. It's designed for using in emergency situations for very tiny occasions, tiny occasions, for occasions where you just need a little bit of cutting, um, you know, or maybe a little bit of self-defense or something. Who knows? This isn't going to protect you against very much, but it might help. Uh, now to the handle. So the handle length, you know, between my fingers up here is 5.86 centimeters, which is 2.3 inches. Uh, the handle thickness, so the steel thickness right back here, is 2.43 millimeters, which is 0 0.0955 of an inch. The handle depth right there is the biggest, 2 centimeters, 0.79 inches, 0.79 inches. The grip area, so that's from there to there, is, where's my list, 3.9 millimeters, centimeters, which is 1.53 inches. So basically you get one and a half inches of grip here, not an awful lot. The total length of the knife is 11.07 centimeters, 4.36 inches. <clears throat> so yeah, it is a tiny piece of steel. It weighs 20 grams. You add in the sheath, it weighs 39 grams. So that's uh, three quarters of an ounce. You add this in, it's 1.4. Oh, you add this in, and it's 1.4 ounces. How much does this thing cost? Well, it's just under $10 US. So you can find this at a number of sources in America for 10 American dollars. I didn't find a Canadian source for this. I didn't find a UK source for this. Most of Europe, it's between 17 and 18 euros. And uh, so, you know, that's roughly the price that you're gonna find this at. Since I'm not really recommending it, I'm not going to go too much in depth, but let me go over the pros and cons. The pros, super easy to clean, very convenient size. If you want something small, not hard to handle, but it's very uncomfortable to do any extended work with. That's a con because you just have this tiny thin handle. At least they added that jimping. That really does help. If you didn't have that, this would be a major annoyance of a knife. Um, Poor sharpening job from the factory. You can remedy that by your own sharpening. You know, the size is either a pro or a con. It's a con if you want to do anything substantial. It's a pro if you're looking for something so tiny. So it's really your choice what you want to do with a knife like this. I've had this one for, I don't know, I don't know almost two years now, and I've just never done a review because I haven't really felt any compelling reason to do a review on this knife. But since I'm covering neck knives, and I know a lot of people have various ideas of what a neck knife is, some people think, uh, some people have followed all the, you know, what the media in the knife community is saying, a neck knife must be a tiny knife that you wear under your shirt for concealed carry. Well, yeah, that's one perspective of what a neck knife is. 
there's everything in between going all the way down to, you know, old school neck knives, which used to be, you know, your hunting knife that you wear on the outside of your coat because you need quick access to it. Uh, like the Inuit used, uh, like the Native Americans used, uh, like the Aboriginals used in Australia or wherever in the world. There's an awful lot of places where peoples carried neck knives and that was their main big knife. So everything from something like this or maybe even smaller all the way up to your regular big Bowie knife. Everything in between can be carried as a neck knife. Some of the small stuff, once it gets too small, it really loses its usefulness in a lot of ways. It still has some usefulness, but it's fairly um, significantly reduced on how useful something like this can be. If you do want to end up buying one of these, consider using my links below if uh, they work for the countries that you live in. Thank you for watching my video. Thanks to my Patreon supporters. And congratulations again to the winner of uh, the three-year giveaway prize for Canadian Cutting Edge. I wonder what the next three years are going to bring. Till then, remember guys, always cut towards your chum, not your thumb.